You have beautiful skin, but weird eyebrows. Bikes, tech, safety. I'm Callie Lewis, the ultimate mashup of man, machine, and mobile technology today on Geek Beats. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Audible. So I'm all about bike riding, but I live in the pickup driving capital of the world, Dallas, which pretty much means I'm laying my life on the line when I opt for handlebars instead of the steering wheel. <laughs> Fortunately, there's a ridiculous amount of technology for two wheelers to choose from. So here are some tech gadgets to help you share the road with road hogs and survive. We're gonna start with products you can buy right now in stores without any waiting because geeks don't wanna wait, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why not make your own lane? Wherever you steer, your lane follows you so drivers know to avoid. The virtual safety lane lights up your lane with two milliwatt red lasers and it's visible from over two miles away for less than 40 bucks. Revo lights are simple but effective. They're LED headlights or tail lights you mount on your bike wheels. They look cool and clearly give you added visibility from the side. You can get just the front or back wheels for $139 or a full set for a discounted $229. If you're more concerned about giving notice to those coming up behind you. For $125, you can outfit your bike with the Blink Steady Smart Tail Light. The tail light sensors know when it's dark enough to be needed, and since it's ultimately triggered by an accelerometer when you're in motion, it switches itself on automatically when you begin riding in low light conditions. And they have 180 degree visibility. You can choose between a steady light or a blinking light. For $200, you could attach a rear-facing camera that shows you what's behind on a handlebar-mounted TFT color monitor. This is especially handy for moms or dads who take kids along with them. If kids are less the problem and dogs are constantly getting in your way, you could get a dog chaser for $15 that repels dogs and other animals by blasting annoying ultrasonic blasts. Only they can hear it, so it won't even disturb your riding chi. The monkey lights add bright, fun 8-bit designs to your bike wheels. You can definitely add style to your bike by putting on monkey lights. They have two versions out right now to choose from at $50 and $75. If you want to really customize your bike and LED lights, the Monkey Light Pro is on Kickstarter for another month. We featured this one on a recent episode. Do you remember that? You can program your LEDs to be whatever animated GIF, essentially, <laughs> that you want. Early adopter prices started at $500, but of course we don't know what post-Kickstarter prices will be. But they expect to ship the Pros in December of this year. The good news with this company is they already have other products shipping, so it's certainly less of a risk. Now let's move into products that were fully funded on Kickstarter but aren't available just yet, just in case you find something you're willing to wait for. The Blaze bike headlight not only lights up the pavement, but it projects a bike lane symbol ahead of you to alert drivers that you're in their blind spot as you pedal beside them. It's been successfully funded on Kickstarter and has a projected delivery date of fall 2013. No retail price or firm release date for sale to the public yet, but the early bird Kickstarter project was 50 pounds, and so you can expect something probably slightly above that most likely. Also fully funded on Kickstarter is the Helios Smart Handlebar. I've covered this one before as well. It has a built-in headlight, turn signals on the handlebars, and GPS tracking in the event of theft, plus integration with your smartphone for route guidance through handlebar LEDs that show you which way to turn to get you to your destination, plus more. Suffice it to say that if one device can turn your trusty two-wheeler into a smart bike, this is it. The Kickstarter price was $1.99 for delivery in December 2013, but we don't know what it will be once it goes on full-on production. But you can wait and see. To alert drivers you're beside them and make them think you're a car, the loud bicycle horn will do the trick. Drivers and cars automatically hit the brakes when they hear the horn. We're just conditioned to react that way, right? So this helps keep you safe in busy cities. It'll blast a horn sound at 112 decibels for up to 30 seconds as long as you hold it down. It was fully funded on Kickstarter in January and is shipping in September for $95. You can pre-order now, though. <laughs> 
Ooh, that is a lot of bike tech. Which one will you choose? Well, whichever one it is, riding your bike is the perfect time to listen to audiobooks. You obviously can't read a book, so listen instead and get something done while you're riding. Audible has books for everyone, no matter what you're interested in. You could listen to Robert Penn's story. He's ridden a bike nearly every single day of his life, to work, to the store, for fun, for travel. Follow his journey and get inspired with It's All About the Bike. Just go to audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat for your free trial and free book. But please, be safe while riding with earbuds in. Either go with one ear only or use bone conduction like the Aftershocks headphones so you can hear both the book and the cars around you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Post a picture of your geeked out bike on our Google Plus Geek community at geekbeat.tv slash geeks. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye-bye, guys.